Now then, let's do some pot 42. There you go, 42. What's been happening? What, fe what day is it? It's the 3rd of December today. I'll show you what's been going on. The compost heap's getting a bit bigger. What if it's all like the grass and the weeds? A little bit more to put on there, then get that covered over and leave it. And would you believe it, look? I cleared some space. I mean, managed to cut some of the privet, the privet, the um, brambles back. A bit more to the one there. And I, can, I can get to it all now. Whoopie do, hey. Been promised to do that for ages. I've just got a little bit more left on there to do. Trim, trim a bit on there. And a lot along the back there. And should be done. So tap, tap on, I think I mentioned that last time. Only problem is it say gathers water. Then I'll just com compress the soil, which is no good. I've got some more timber at work, so I can probably go build another bed in there. I'm not in no rush yet, but that's another plan. Beds are fairly weeded. This is the from the brambles and the thorns what I've cut down the other week. Just let them rot down a bit more before I get rid of them. A couple of cabbages left to pick. Maybe the odd cauliflower and sprouts left to pick. The tops have been eaten, like I don't know what. I'm not going to walk on the soil because it's a bit too wet. Yeah, these are all done. A bit too wet to weed. Got a bit of weed in there. Yeah, same as the rest of them. And the odd bit of weed, not to worry about. Same on that one. This one's got some old leaf mould on, a few weeds on the top, which I've dug up, which I'll show you where I've got them from. End of the polytunnel, I had a gap at the end, which I used to put all my leaves. So I've cleared all that out. I'm not going to put on the, weeds, the leaf mould on there again, I don't think. I'll do something else with that. Um, so like bit, there's a bit of perspex on the floor, which it helped. But the problem is when you put the weeds down, the leaves down, the weeds grow underneath. You end up chopping the the weeds roots, mix it in with the leaf mold. But there you go, it's one of those things. The next thing you can do is this path here. It's mainly just a few weeds on the top, and it's meant back. And also the back's the back the back's rot rot like rotted down now. And it just attracts more weeds. So I'm going to take it all up, either compost it, or put it on the, the community compost bin. Let it rot down. It'll, it'll, it'll take a while for it down, like, but I'm not in no rush. <laughs> That's another job for the next few weeks, get all that up. Hopefully if I get here this week, the rest of this week I'll get it took up. Now what happened in the greenhouse? Water butts are full. Took all the rhubarb, all the dead rhubarb up the other day. There's just a little bit left more to take. Tech up and compost, get it tidied up. Same as in here. Could do with taking that's full of bark in the middle there. It just gathers weeds, not a lot all the time. Now, take the weeds out, then it'll just do it all again. So, still not done that section yet. Where well, I was going to take the board out and just extend that area. I'm going to do it. Just haven't got around to it yet, it's not, so I've covered it over, so it's no great shirt there. Greenhouse, not happening in there. Not growing in there. A few of the chilli and the jalapenos still left in there to take. So, just get that tidied up ready for next year. Compost area, rubbish area. So, I tidied it all up the other day. I think I showed you last, last month. That's all the old compost. I think I showed you, me on me soil, so that's that, same as this one here, the wheelie bin. Look at me, some soil in there, looks lighter on the camera than it does. Compost bin, so that's where the old compost was, that's what's in them buckets now. This is me compost for this year, I've just emptied it on there, there's a full bucket of, like a full bucket, like wine spirits bucket, full of veg and grains that's all on there I've tidied this up a little bit on here leaves just because you can see where where the leaves have been and you get weeds coming up 
chopping it up. So I'm going to take all that back, bring it on there. And the plan is, I've got a green panel there, I've got a green one at the other end. That's going to go all the way along there. I'm going to sort this out, so I build a new compost bin. I've chopped some of the bushes back, so I can get in. So I'm going to have, stand for the back. The board's going to go all the way on the back, fence it off there, fence it off there, and fence it off there. So I can move that into the first one. Then when that's rotting down, I'll transfer it into the next, and that leaves me a bit of a gap at the end. And once I've moved all this, I can stack, make it some shelving, and stack all my timber up. See so if I can get in here. There's the... Need all that sorting out. Because I've got all my pair specs and whatever. Some long pair specs there, about 13 foot long I think, them pair specs. But I can build... I could build a shelf, shelf, build a roof to keep the timber dry. Because I normally stack it on top of here. But that's the plan, is fence it all off, maybe it on the sides, put a roof on, all timber underneath, all dry, and it'll, it'll open this area up a bit, because these have been here six, seven years. So it needs doing, get it all sorted out. As I say, it's all rotten, it's all rotten in there, it's rotten down there. Also, this is collapsing here. I put pests, but in, stop it from running through. But I'll transfer all that into the new one. Then another part that I maybe have to do is this area of the path. Same again, it was all back. It's all all good when it's fresh, nice, clean. But when it gets wet, it breaks down. The weeds get in it, so. Must have temporary paths with the wood. It's not good enough, good. Because you end up bloody slipping on your ass, slipping all the time. But, never yeah, mind, shed's still the same. Now in there. So, yeah, that's a quick work on yeah, yeah, plot 42 again. So, I think next one is going to be 1st of December. 1st of December. 1st of January. Next one, unless I do one before. If I don't, I wish you all, all the best for Christmas and New Year, and I'll see you next year. Thanks very much. Cheers.